All right, let's talk about the politics in the United States. So politics in the United States is very, very entertaining and interesting at the same time. So why, why did I say it's very entertaining? So unlike Philippine politics, American politics has this charisma, okay, even for outsiders like Asians, like us and like me. So uh, this is me, Asian, commenting or reacting to American politics. So what's going to happen to... Uh, President Donald Trump is he gonna win the election so he's basically running against uh, uh, Democrat Democrat presidential nominee Joe Biden and we all know that Joe Biden has been in politics for 47 years imagine that's more well less than 50 years so to speak and uh, President Trump is an outsider he's not a politician but he won for the first time that he ran for president first he beat uh, the, you know, the Republican contenders in a primary election in 2016. Uh, Ted Cruz and so on, Michael, uh, Mr. Rubio, uh, and uh, all these uh, Republican uh, politicians. And um, he became the nominee, and after becoming a nominee for the Republican Party, he ran against... Uh, Hillary Clinton, who won the nomination uh, for the Democratic Party. So let me just talk to you uh, regarding the difference between American and Philippine politics. So we all know that uh, we have the same, uh, some kind of system, presidential system, presidentialism, but it's not actually exactly the same. Uh, although we copied almost verbatim some of the provisions of our constitution from the US Constitution, we don't have exactly the same uh, political framework as uh, the United States political framework. First, the uh, United States is um, a federal government. It's a federalist system. It has a federalist system. We have a national government system, national presidential system. So, and uh, that's the reason why we have this electoral college in the United States. So um, first, we're I'm going to talk about the difference in terms of ideologies of two countries. So the Philippines and the United States. So in the United States, they have this ideological divide between, between well, it's because they have this two-party system. But of course, there are many ideologies, but uh, they have this uh, Republican versus versus uh, Democrats, okay? And the, the Republicans are more of conservatives, okay? They, they are for conservatism, etc. And uh, the Democrats are uh, for liberalism. So these are all political terms, but what do these terms mean, okay? Um, if we're gonna use the, the, the term liberal and conservative in the Philippines, we may have a different meaning. But these are technical terms for political, uh, for U.S. politics. So conservatism, uh, conservatism, okay? It's more in favor of uh, capitalism, but they are not totally for capitalism. They have still a non-state framework. They have freebies. They are for... They are for subsidies for some cases. They are not really for 100% capitalism. Um, they are simply paying lip service uh, for capitalism for some reason, okay? For some reason only. But they are not totally for capitalism. So I myself, I'm a radical for capitalist. I am a small L libertar uh, libertarian. Small L, not the big L libertarian. So these are all terminologies that uh, political savvy people can understand. So I'm not saying that I'm really an expert when it comes to American politics, but I do, I've been following uh, American politics for some time. I'm, I think I'm more interested and in, I'm more well-versed uh, when it comes to American politics than Philippine politics. But uh, small l libertarian means uh, limited government, uh, for radical capitalism, while big L, libertarianism, or libertarianism, 
is for anarchy. They're anarcho-capitalist. They're for anarchism. So just to define my terms, okay? So conservatives are for, they're for limited government, um, for uh, capitalism, but limited capitalism, actually. They're not for full-blown capitalism. They are in, against abortion. And that's their main, their main difference uh, from from the liberals who are for abortion. Okay, what else? They are also against too much uh, interference or regulation. They are not in favor of non-state government, but they are in favor of some freebies or non-state policies. Okay, like giving subsidies to some people. We've seen this during the time of of uh, W. Bush, okay, when they uh, have all the subsidies for big companies, perks for big uh, businesses, etc. When it comes to the Democrats, they are for, actually, the Democrats that we have today, they are uh, considerably left-leaning. They moved toward the left, okay, the left of this political spectrum. They became um, progressives, okay. Progressives is going to be another term. Liberal, progressive. They're using a lot of, the problem with American leftists is that they've been using a lot of pleasant sounding words in terms in order to fool people. But basically they are leftists or left-leaning. That's the main principle that we need to understand and uh, to use, okay. So, the Democrats are left-leaning. They, they're simply using the, the words or terms liberals, progressives in order to look cool and sound cool, but they are actually for socialist framework of government. They are for uh, regulations, they are for climate change, uh, global industrial complex, for regulation of our lives, control of our lives, the way we drive, the way we use energy, etc. They are for uh, sequestration or nationalization of government and according to Maxine Waters the the Democrat uh, uh, representative in California he said in one in one of the notorious hearings in the past uh, this liberal is actually for socialism I'm for socialism she said and and uh, that's actually one of the uh, of the best representation of a modern American liberal today. American liberals are actually for for big government, uh, more regulations, um, big subsidies for their cronies, etc. Uh, and, uh, and other socialist uh, programs. So I'm actually trying to look for that for that uh, video of Maxine Waters. So here's, here's the video that I'm talking about. That was a long time ago, actually. So, uh, when she was in this hearing and uh, she told... What guarantees are you going to give this liberal about how that will reduce the cost of, uh, of uh, gasoline at the pump? So, she's confronting Maxine Waters, again, a Democrat liberal socialist from California, because California is what we now call California. Or communist California, uh, she's confronting. What guarantee do you have to, uh, for this liberal? Okay, and uh, if we let you drill where you say you want to drill, I can guarantee to the American people because of the inaction of the United States Congress, ever increasing prices unless the demand comes down, and the five dollars will look like a very low price in the years to come if we are prohibited from finding new reserves new opportunities to increase supply and guess what this liberal would be all about this liberal will be all about socializing uh, um, <laughs> would be about basically taking over and the government running look at the reaction of companies. the guys beside her this liberal is basically for taking over all of your businesses all right so imagine american liberals are actually more radical than philippine filipino leftists so the filipino leftists in the philippines they are either communists 
or or simply leftist because let me just try to relate American po politics to Philippine politics okay all I can tell you is that American liberals and leftists are more ideologically intellectual they're more ideologically intellectual and effective and strategic compared to Philippine Filipino uh, leftists and communists okay they know what they're doing they know how to fight their cause the American leftists compared to Filipino leftists and communists they have this barbaric view of socialism of how to fight for their goal and co cause okay and when I talk about how they fight their cause and goal I'm looking at Jose Maria season uh, their way of fighting for their cause is more traditional it's m more Marxist okay they haven't actually improved their tactics okay it's still 1960s for them still 1960s it's all about bloody revolution that's the reason why we have this CPP or Communist Party in the Philippines they are still at large okay we still have the CPP in the Philippines we still have communists but there's a difference between communists and leftists or socialists okay according to well I'm gonna be using the, the definition of Nelson Mandela okay a communist is a member or party member of a communist or established communist party of a particular um, territory or country in our country we have the Communist Party of the Philippines so you can be a leftist you can be a leftist or socialist or left-leaning but you cannot be a communist okay you need to be a member member of the Communist Party for you to become a communist technically speaking so just like the Communist Party of USA just like the Communist Party of China okay the Communist Party CPP the Communist Party of China they have this party in China so Jack Ma according to some reports and many other oligarchs in China the cronies they are members of the Communist Party okay and these members of the Communist Party are very very powerful they have this some kind of privilege you cannot just you cannot simply or it's not easy for you in China to become member of the communist you, you need to have some kind of influence or some kind of standing in society okay and there are perks for you to become a communist so according to reports and to the dissidents in China most or if not all billionaires in China need to become member of the communist party okay you need to become a member of the communist party so in the Philippines you can be a leftist that's the reason why our president himself said president Duterte uh, himself said I am not a communist but he claimed to be a socialist right he, he claimed president Duterte according to reports he's, he said he's a socialist he's basically speaking about the technical definition of communism he knew what he's speaking about you know Duterte is not a fool you know I don't like Duterte I'm a critic of Duterte but I'm a very objective critic of Duterte you know he's not a fool when he was saying I'm a socialist but I'm not a communist actually all right and in fact he declared the communists as terrorists the communist rebels because you can be a socialist but you cannot be a communist at the same time that's the reason why there are these breakaway gr uh, groups communist breakaway groups and uh, those members of the breakaway groups were killed by Joma season they were murdered for being defectors because the communists cannot have a competition if you're gonna be a competition you're gonna get purged you're gonna get killed okay so that's the definition of communist and socialist a socialist is definitely for state government the, the the rule of the pro proletarian class 
okay but that doesn't mean that you are a communist at the same time but you can be a communist and socialist at the same time because you need to have this left-leaning ideology for you to be uh, you know a member for you to be a socialist and then communist all right so that's what we have here um, the communists in the country are are very stupid and um, I think the communists in China in the past during the term of Marcus now I'm actually um, speaking from memory here the communist party or the communists in China during the ter time of Marcus even described Filip Filipino communists as, as amateurs amateurish amateurs okay you Filipino communists are amateurs you don't know what you're doing okay because these communists in China were able to prove that they were successful they were able to fight the revolution successfully while the communists in the Philippines could never win a single war they they were just there you know hiding in in the mountainside in this country you know uh, repeating the slogans that the, their, their ancestors have been saying 60 years or uh, 30 years ago in the 1960s but they can never win win an ideological war all right it's more of physical warfare for them and well we have the com the socialists in congress the militant socialists we have reason to verse um the those what i call uh, party list militant socialist uh, congressmen or representatives but not necessarily they're uh, communist okay they're probably sympathetic with the CPP but that doesn't mean that they are communists but because for you to be a member of the communist party you need to be a party member of the communist party in this country whereas in the United States okay they have this communist party in fact, okay, the Communist Party of USA sued the Democrat Party for for plagiarizing <laughs> uh, its uh, its uh, platform. Okay, the Communist Party sued the Democratic Party or the Democrat Party for plagiarizing their platform. Imagine that. So, you know. As, like I said earlier, the communists don't want competition. And the Communist Party of USA see the Democrat Party as their competition. And basically, yes, they're a competition. That doesn't mean that they're allies. They're probably allies ideologically. They agree on a lot of things policy-wise. But that doesn't mean that, oh, since we agree on certain things then we can be friends no no okay because the democrat party is a more dominant party they can and uh and they are more strategic in their in their way of fighting for their cause okay uh and uh, i'm actually googling it i'm doing their joe rogan show in which joe rogan kept fact checking alex jones um, during the interview uh, okay so let me just uh, show it to you all of these are actually factual you can definitely definitely uh, do some research everything that I'm gonna say is factual okay Communist Party sues uh, Democrats on platform theft because there's actually no difference between the two it doesn't mean that because you agree on some ideological policies that you can be one no you can still be competition that's the reason why like I said the communists hate competition and the communist party in the Philippines kept purging and killing their com competitors over the past decades you know the mass mass graves of the former communist members or those defectors they were killed the killing of like man for example right they hate competition that's the reason why uh, the competition between the Nazi or the Nazis or Hitler, Hitler's Nazi um, uh, before the Second World War and the Russian, the communist Russians, be before they were friends. They were actually close friends 
until until Hitler tried to double cross Stalin. Okay, he tried to double cross Stalin and and uh, tried to invade invade Russia. <laughs> All right, despite having a non-aggression pact between each other. <laughs> All right, so it's all about who's who's the wise who's wiser between the two. All right, so it doesn't mean that just because you share the same, almost exactly the same, tyrannical ideology and goals and principle doesn't mean you cannot be enemy. Okay, these Nazis and the communists in the past they were like twin evils. Okay. And now today, the liberals in the West are now claiming that, hey, if you're a Nazi, you're a right wing. <laughs> These people didn't read books at all. Looks like it. They never read good books. They need to re-educate themselves. The Nazis and the fascists were Marxists in the past. They were Marxists. They were left-leaning. If you're going to look at the 24, uh, 24 point program of the Nazis it's all about it's all about socialist takeover the the taking over of the means of production okay by the state and all of these regulations massive regulations massive control mass media control etc it's all about leftist program it's all about left leaning they these are leftist takeover policies all right so don't tell me that if you are a Nazi or if or if you are a fascist, you are right wing. No, Karl Marx did not invent socialism, mind you. He did not invent socialism. Okay, he he just came up with his own version of socialism because there were socialists long before Karl Marx was born. Karl Marx did not invent socialism. If and um, you can be an inventor if you own socialist socialist ideology or structure if you wanted to there are other versions of socialism today and uh, the Maoism okay they came up with their own uh, version a uh, Leninist Stalinism Maoism black socialism so it doesn't mean that you you are a Marxist probably agree on some of the principles of Marxism but that doesn't mean that you are a full-blown Marxist because Marxism is just one version of socialism.